Uh, I personally do, yeah. I'm, I speak frequently. I've been on the campus of Duke a dozen times, Carolina State, and hundreds of other schools. Uh, I speak a lot. I go to conferences, et cetera. But, but I think the important thing is for we, right, for all of us to raise not just the seminal moment voice, but our collective voice every day. I think we can do more. Um, and I think about that as a father to four girls, you know, how do I not only instill in them uh, the ethical compass they need, but help the world around them in our daily actions. So, you know, that's why I left you with those six things. Uh, we all have the power. It's right in front of us. Uh, we, we need to make the important things the first things. Yeah, mar markets, uh, markets respond to leadership as well. Uh, I'll give you a good illustration. Uh, Paul Pullman's the CEO of Unilever. He said he's no longer going to report quarterly or give guidance. We need more CEOs with the chutzpah to do that. Um, I think once that happens, it changes the markets and the markets will get used to it. They're, you know, the markets are leading the leaders. The leaders need to lead the markets. That's what we need today. We need more CEOs uh, who, who actually understand that principle and apply it. And you see more CEOs gathering on that. There's a group called Conscious Capitalism uh, that gathers a, a great group of CEOs, runs kind of in parallel to B Corp that are, are thinking that way. Guys like John Mackey at Whole Foods or Ron Shake at Panera, uh, Herman Miller, Sally Jewell, who used to be at REI, now Department of Interior. Uh, there, there are great leaders who are trying to redefine what that looks like. It'll come. Uh, I, I think the tax code as we have it today is pretty flawed, so I won't go into a whole thing on tax code. but. Uh, I will say that more companies are thinking about how do they direct their, their dollars into philanthropic support? How do they uh, engage in the community around them? We have a saying at seventh generation, which is, uh, and it's why we care so much about our community. If every company adopted their home backyard, their community around them, uh, we would solve all of the world's problems. Think about that. If Red Hat were out here today and solving problems and we had Citrix out solving problems and Glaxo and Cisco and, and, and just go through the litany of all the companies. If every one of us committed to have our employees do public service, which is a requirement seventh generation, uh, and you don't get a year-end bonus unless you do your service, community service, it's a requirement, it's part of our community. What if every company did that? You know, uh, we, we have a foundation. Um, what if more companies had foundations and directed those funds, uh, importantly, right back to the community? Again, every community has fundamental businesses within it. Imagine the power if we could harness all the businesses here in the triangle and have them solve the triangle's problems. We wouldn't have to worry about taxes and tax codes and all that stuff. We'd do it ourselves. Um, so we've got to bring leadership together with a, with a mindset that together business can solve a lot of those problems. Thank you.